As you touch Kings. Ah. New season. Wow, he said vibes after run. Back, 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 Are you blessed? Yeah, okay. Man is man. Oh, man. oh nice. Is it big number five or is it, or is it slim and slender number five? Like I'm, wow. I'm trying to work it out because he's looking. Bro. But the thing is, you're going to have a word with the gaffer because he's not giving me the number five. Wow. Well, what I'm hearing is that many players and that many quality in the team. Wow. It's, it's, um, it's one of them, isn't it? But how are we feeling for the right. season? Man. Oh, right, right. Yeah. If Mr. Mink can come to Simbi and Darwin play, keep playing under control, don't let him come out. Depending on my team, we're going to be sitting there. Approachable ref in the go and talk to me. You ain't gonna talk to me, talk to me. Well, 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 we have got to worry about the football. Just work hard, that's it. I don't want to see lads grafting for 20 minutes and slacking us. Do your individual battles. Pitch, and that's it. Them. Work yeah. hard against these. Fucking first we'll get the result. Just fucking eat them from the fucking get. No red cards yet. Yeah. I ain't gonna get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, nah, see, I'm just playing that game, man. Listen, listen, listen. I'm just playing football. Dom and knife, just keep it simple at the back. Yeah. Take a touch, get it out into the midfield as quick as you can. Just do the simple. Down and training. Just look for the channels if you've got to do the long ball. As long as we get the midfielders and uh, midfielders in, then we go. Try, hold that ball up, look for Lewis and Cowden, and then get off. Get straight in the box then. Test the keeper. Then you're talking as yeah, well. Yeah. These men turn up like an army. All in, in uniform, ready to go. We need to make sure that we're on job because if we're not, these are these are one of the favourites for a reason. So if we get slapped, it's because we're not on it. So we know how we're lining up, yeah? So we've got Frank, right sided. Yusuf on the left side, Perdi in the middle, Manny with Fanyol in there, Braz on the right, Souls on the left, Malt up with Bones and Cohen in behind, yeah? So this box is massive for us. These distances can't be too high as well, so Souls yeah. and Braz, make sure you're in between that box almost. Yeah. You don't want to be too deep and you don't want to be too high. Yeah. So, Make sure that when we set our press, it comes from this here, from these two dictating whether you, you four can go, you five can go. So talk to Mo up there, but don't let him isolate it, otherwise, game's done. You yeah. won't be able to grow up, we'll just get popped. Yes, yes, people, welcome back to Sunday League settings with myself, Big Faza. Now it's the start of a new season, a brand new campaign. And it's only right that I start the season off with two of the new teams that have entered the championship. Now, playing at home, we've got Vibes FC, which you know, Chief, Braz, my boys from a No Techers podcast. If you know who they are, go log on, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Against a newly formed team in Trooper FC, 
Now, less of me chatty pattying, let's get straight into the action. And as you can hear, it's very lively on the sidelines. Now, shout out to Ultimate Kings as always. Little bro doing his thing for the Sunday league scene. Ellie Steeny playing the ball through to Cowley. But Lionel's got that ruler out again. Straight as an arrow. Straight as an arrow. <laughs> got that ruler out again. Got it. Vice <laughs> Steen having two minutes in. Just in front of the camera, you got Souls who tosses the ball into Mo. But Jack Massey letting him know he's in the game for 90 minutes. Ball tossed in by Jack Cheney, but referee blows his whistle, saying that Big Troy was held down. Free kick to Trooper FC. Bit of banter coming from the sides to Elistini, saying he skipped leg day, but he whipped a decent enough ball into the box, missed at the back post. Now, ball played into the middle of the park, picked up by Tone, but once again, Massey letting him know he's in the game. Referee brings it back eventually for a free kick to the Vibes FC boys. Now with that one of a left peg standing over this free kick, you got Faniel Keynes, who dinks one into the middle of the box. Referee blows up for a foul. Not too sure who it was for or who it was on, but nonetheless, we keep it moving. Now over on that far side of the pitch, you got Ellis Dini standing over the free kick once again. Referee eventually blows his whistle. Free kick whipped into the box, but it doesn't beat the first man in Faniel. Braz is there to pick up the bits. Troy comes over. Braz trying to shepherd it out, but Troy knocks it out for a goal kick. Now ball cleared there by Leaky. Um, eventually flicked on into the path of Cowley, who's one on one with Raggy in goal. Bit of a heavy touch, and Raggy comes out and clears the bits. Goes out for a corner. Corner to be whipped in by number 11, Cowley for the Trooper boys. Doesn't beat Faniel Keynes at the front post again. Clears his lines. Bones picks up the scraps. Chain is all over it like a rash. Sticks his foot in. Breaks to Faniel Keynes again. Cleared for a throw in. About 10 minutes in at this point. Souls in possession of the ball. But Troy wants it a little bit more. Turns away. Outside the right peg. Plays in Alex Tompkinson. Lewis Moss is there in support. Plays it across the six yard box. Tucks it away. Bottom of the onion bag. 1-0 to Trooper FC. And as the Vibes FC boys kick off again, trying to get back into this game, Faniel Keynes picks up the ball, plays it out to this left hand side, heavy touch, and Chain is all over it again. Now Braz standing over this corner kick, whips onto the back post, KRD gets his head on it, but Jack Massey clears his lines and we start again. Now, Lewis Massey plays one over to that left-hand side to Dale Hewitt, whips onto the back post, shouts for handball. I leave that one up to use that if it was a penalty or not. The mad thing about it is a corner wasn't given either. But as we get back into the action, Chain is doing what Chain has been doing all this first half. Now the boy Brass standing over the corner once again, being told to take a little bit off the corner, so he tries to play one front post, cleared by Dale Hewitt. Ellis Dean, he picks up the ball inside his own half, outside the left peg. But Lionel's got that ruler out once again, straight as an arrow. Daniel Keynes into Bones, into Manny, pulled back by Troy, free kick. Tone over the head of Massey into Bones, who gives it him back on the first touch. Tone comes away with it. Massey putting the pressure in. 
done Perkins these one on tone bit of previous there from their time at Ballers Massey all over bones like a rash, conceding a free kick just inside their own half. Now you got Faniel Keynes over it, that one of a left peg of his. Referee eventually blows his whistle. Faniel Keynes sticks one on the keeper. Lewis flaps it, back of the onion bag, 1-1. One, one. Lewis apologies because you did ask me in the bruise if I can try and edit it to make it look a bit better. Nothing I could do to help you there, kid. 1-1, one, one, gay man. Trooper back in possession. Elistini outside that left peg again. Out to this right hand side. Picked up by Cowley. Gets it onto his left peg. Whips it into the box. Raggy gets a decent fist on it. No further than the 18 yard box. Ellis plays it back out to Dale Hewitt. Who lends it back to Ellis. Managed to get it back onto that left foot. Whips it into the box. Over hit. And it does eventually go out for a goal kick. Now over on that far side, you got Dale Hewitt that skips away from Braz, but credit where it's due to BRZ7, does his defensive duties and knocks out for a corner. From that resulting corner, whipped into the box, cleared, but no further than Leakey, who shoots, takes a deflection, corner kick again. Dan Perkins getting caught in possession, intercepted by Mo, who, if he does have a better pass, creates another chance. Now, the thing about this pitch is it is really small, so one ball over the top, and you got a counter attack going down the other end. But this time, it's intercepted by Souls, and they start again. Now, just in front of the camera, Massey into Cowley, into Alex, to Cheney. Faniel clearly takes out Cowley 18 yards out. Referee waves it on. Vibes clear it. Referee could have brought it back, but he doesn't. Yeah, one of them ones. Fast forward a couple of minutes. Jack Massey plays it out to this right hand side to Cheney, just in front of the camera. This little dink into Lewis Massey. Plays it out to that left hand side to Dale Hu, who's got a decent overlapping run. First time into Troy, ball makes it 2-1 to the Trooper FC boys. With all the possession that the Trooper FC boys did have, I think it was only fair that they did go 2-1 ahead. Manny plays the ball into the path of Tone, coming under control, breaks the mo, and Luka takes him out. Now you got Faniel and Brass standing over this free kick, 25 yards out from goal. Faniel to take it, decent effort and a decent save there by Lewis. Leaky taking another one for the team. Free kick to the Vibes FC boys. Braz whips on into the box. Just out of camera shot. Little bit of a goal mouth scramble. But fair play to Ellis Dini. Doing his defensive duties. Clears his lines. Now from that resulting corner. The Vibes FC boys can't manage to work anything from the shorts. 
Faniel back into tone, overplayed. Ball picked up there by Troy, who's had some decent hold up play in this first part of the game. Out to Cowley, gets his head up. Troy follows his run. Ball gets stuck underneath his feet, blocked by Frank Hazel. And what a tackle that is there by Manny. Now you've heard me say it a million times, if it's not broke, you don't fix it. The outlet ball for Trooper FC has been on his right hand side with Chrissy Cowley, where every time he picks it up, he drives to the defence like he has on this one. One on one with Raggy this time. Shot should have been better, but nonetheless, that's a decent save by the boy Raggy in goal. Now, ball intercepted by number seven, Braz, on that far right hand side. Plays a decent ball inside. Dummied by Mo, picked up by Tone, but that's a decent block that is by Leakey. Dan Perkins doing Dan Perkins things. Pins himself a free kick. Like, you saw, you would have done, Taz. <laughs> now, man of the match for me in this first half has been the boy Cheney at right back for Trooper FC. All over everything like a rash, wins himself a free kick. I'm fair to say he's loving it. As we enter the dying embers of this first staff, Alex Tomkinson picks up the ball, retrieves it back off Cowley, gets his head up, tries to play one back into Big Troy, shot, deflected. Vibes getting caught in possession. Jack Massey all over it like a rash. Ellis Dini trying to come away with the bits. Referee eventually blows his whistle. Free kick to the Trooper FC boys. The shot was on, but Jack Massey plays it short out to his right hand side once again. Cowley gets it onto that left foot, but the cross is blocked by Souls. Bones helps it onto Souls and they start again. Entering the last 30 seconds of this first staff, Alex Tomkinson still putting the pressure on, and I believe that's Frank Hazel that brings him down 18 yards out from goal. With the referee about to blow his whistle as soon as this free kick is taken, we are going to go into the half-time break. Vibes FC 1, Trooper FC 2. Yeah, man, we're shit at the minute, we are. We want to play, yeah, we do want to play. If you're not feeling comfortable, we just flip them in the channel because every time we has gone in the channel, we're getting them under pressure. We're, we're winning the game, putting them in the channel. Yes, we want to play. Yes, we want to play football, of course. We want to play football, but this is very difficult to play on, trust me. So if you flip it in the channels, it's got to be a good ball in the channel, not just a hoop. It's got to be a good, well played ball into the channels. Yeah, we're going to play football. 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 Yeah. We're five foot, we're all five foot, just took barely touching six foot, some of us. So why are we standing at the back stick thinking, yeah, let's go and beat him in? Yeah. They're going to do it, are we? Yeah. It's got to be, I'm trying to get him in near post. You've yeah. got to make a run and just get a little flick. Get a little flick on, you got them two, then. Last, last, last one. Both, both their set of going back towards their goal, trying to kick it. All he needs is a fucking shit clearance. That's in their own net. In their own net. Yeah. You've got to put pressure on them. I'm telling you, before that free kick, come in, come in, you're going to come in, get across the near post. We, we, we're small. We've got to minimise every fucking free kick. No sit there, slap the free kicks around there. Yeah. What they're going to do is going to have a whack at them. Yeah, yeah. Going to put it on it. Free kicks around there, mate. If I'm them, I'm shooting and hoping for the best. Then they're big fucking nuts. Yeah, minimise all our free kicks. No, any, any free, free kicks. Then. No silly free kicks. Watching, two far away, 
and then if he gets beat 1v1, one one, he's boxed. Because he's just straight, he don't go. And then they're boxing, they've got to get in the box. So even if he misses it, the next one's there for the tackle. So I'm saying he's... So what I'm saying, Cobra, I'm saying when, if he goes up to him, Cobra round, and then you, these two got to get back in. These wide man got to be way too high, especially your side, but if you're too high, got to get back in. So, so round four, it should be more like a... Like a... Not a five. It should be at least eight behind the ball. And that's why he's getting vets because he's just exposed because we're just leaving gaps everywhere. Like I said before the game, we can't be that spread. With them halftime team talks done and dusted, let's get the second half on the way then. Dan Perkins taking Mo out in front of the camera. Free kick. Faniel whips on into the box. Onto the head of Manny. Brass tries to get on the end of it, but Louis scoops it up. Now Brass picks up the ball just inside his own half. I've been waiting for my first now you see it, now you don't of the season. Now you see it, now you don't. Turns away from three players. Decent enough footwork. Tries to play out to this right hand side, but by the time he plays it, he's offside. Now, we're not seeing either of these two teams play, even though I know Braz and I know Chief from doing the work on the No Techers podcast. It has been a very competitive game so far. Both teams are trying to get the ball down and play football, which is signs of good things you're going to see throughout the season, I guess. Out to this left hand side to Drizzy, plays another ball in, cleared, and it does go out for a throw in. I guess they're like bosses. After a long time, you get a couple of them. Now you see it, now you don't. It wouldn't be Sundays without a meaty tackle. Great that he's there by the boy Troy. Watch them all croft them, watch them. <laughs> okay, yeah. Now it seems like I'm always mugging him off, but it's all love for the Godfather of Sunday League, the man like Sash. Always a pleasure to see him. Now as we get back into the action, ball picked up again by number nine Mo, plays it into Tone, and now as much as I love you Tone, you haven't been at the races today. Dale Hewitt with the throw in, into Lewis Massey, great control. Lovely ball behind the back line of Vibes FC, into the path of Cowley, who tucks it away. 3-1 Oops, happy run yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oi, oi. I'm just the media man. <laughs> oh. I think Shane has been around Dan Perkins a little bit too much. Bit of S housery, but things you love to see. Now, things you love to see is that footwork there by the boy Braz. Just a shame it didn't come to anything in the end. The thing about standing on the sidelines is I get a bit too involved sometimes with both sets of fans because I seem to know everybody, the banter's always flying. Now as a result, I nearly missed this. Ball goes back to Raggy, I turn my camera off, it's intercepted. Play through to Cowley, hits the bar, goes over the line, goes and makes it 4-1 to the Trooper FC boys. Now Massey, I apologise, you can't claim this one, it does belong to Cowley.
Within a space of two minutes, he goes from being 2-1 in the game, being very competitive, to Trooper going for the jugular and making it 4-1. Now with Captain Tone coming off the pitch, Chaney plays another one over the top. Lino puts his flag up, it's close, could, could have been 5-1. Now I missed it on my camera, but the behind the goal one caught it. Another shot, another save by Raggy. That Vibes FC defence is living a charm life. With 60 minutes on the clock, ball breaks out to this left hand side. You've heard me say it a few times. Now at this point people, what can you say? I honestly don't know what was better, the assist or the finish. Either way, Trooper FC boys go make it 5 1. <laughs> Trooper FC boys definitely trying to lay a marker down in that massive 10 minutes where they've gone from being 2-1 to making it 5-1. Now number 21, Faneuil Keynes, whips one into the box, straight into the keeper's hands though. Now we're about 75 minutes in at this point, ball played over the top. Easy could have cleared their lines there by Leakey I believe. Plays one into Cheney, who plays a short one into Dan Perkins who's got no other choice but to bring him down. Free kick to Vibes FC. Fangle Kane standing over this free kick. 25 yards out, shoots, but it goes well over the bar. Now as Elistini takes that shot, the boy Troy goes down with a hammy. Taz comes on for him, goal kick out of Raggy's hands, literally could have gone anywhere, cleared off the line by Dan Perkins. Fast forward a couple of minutes, Jack Cheney swings another ball into the box, Faneuil Keynes doing his defensive duties, goes out for a corner. From that resulting corner, he's whipped into the box, a little bit too much on it, now over on that far side, not going anywhere, but another silly free kick conceded. With nothing coming at that free kick, we go back up the other end. Faneuil Keynes with that one of a left peg again. Whips one into the box. Lewis taking no chances this time around. Gets a hand on it. Eventually, Vibes FC come away with a ball. But Trooper doing what Trooper have been doing all of this first half. Two and three men in and around them, smothering them and clearing their lines. Gaffer Moss not too happy about Leakey getting a yellow card for descent. As we get back into the action, Mo comes away with a ball, but the referee does eventually bring it back for the first initial foul. Now after hearing quite a bit about Ellis Dini, obviously through football circles, hearing that he's a decent player, it's the first time I've seen him in action. Pulling the strings today, just a shame that that one never come off. Out 
After bagging himself a brace, the boy Cowley's come off and ran himself into the ground. Things that I don't catch when I'm on the sidelines due to bodies being in the way, but the camera does. Taz, with a naughty little Megs there, calls out for a throw in though. Another player I want to highlight is number 18, Dale Hewitt on the ball. His delivery throughout the whole of the first half and the second half was on point, putting the balls into dangerous areas. And like I just said, another ball into a dangerous area. Just a shame the boys can't get on the end of it. Fast forward a couple of minutes, ball on his right hand side for Vibes FC, swept into the box. Colgate drifts away from his man, gets ahead on it, tipped onto the bar by Lewis. Decent chance. Now Ellis, when we was back in the booze, you did ask me if I got the nutmegs. I think that's the one you're on about, isn't it? Now I know Techers, we have got a new reel called uh, Show Techers. I believe Bones, that one's definitely gonna make it in there. Plays it into the feet of Holgate, who's got decent hold up play. Bones picks up the scraps again. Plays into the path of Breezy. One on one with the keeper, Lewis. Slots it in the back of the onion bag, 5-2. Now the Vibes FC boys bringing it back to 5-2. You got Ellis Dini who plays another one out to this left hand side to Dale Hewitt. First time ball across the six yard box. Just a shame Tars can't get on the end of it. With nothing coming to that corner, we go back up the other end. On that left hand side with Faneuil, he whips the ball into the box. Now admittedly, Massey did say he should have cleared his lines here, but Bones intercepts it into the path of Dean. He's tripped up, still puts in the back of the onion bag. By this time, the referee's already blown his whistle, so he awards the penalty. Blew the whistle too quick, man. Now, penalty is delayed while there's a couple of handbags between Faneuil Canes and Dunn Perkins. Clearly, the ex ballers, lads. Feelings are riding high, but you know, nothing comes of it. Eventually, we are in a position to take the penalty. You got Faneuil Kane standing over it. Referee blows his whistle. Back of the onion bag, 5-3. Now with a score at 5-3 and just a couple of minutes left on the clock, we go back down the other end. Ball breaks to number 19, Alex, who's one-on-one -on -one with Raggy, but Raggy the Cat, do my Raggy the Cat's always done. Always been a decent shot stopper. I said it last week, it's the part of the game I do hate where one of the ballers on the pitch goes down with an injury. This time accidental. Faneuil Keynes ends up breaking his wrist in three places. Um, I spoke to him in the evening. He said he's going to be out of the game for a little bit. I just wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, credit to the Trooper boys as well for making sure he was okay. Now as we enter the dying members of the game, ball on that left hand side, tossed into the box, flicked on by Holgate, but Lewis is all over it. With Twinkle Toe Taz in the corner, trying to see out time. The game is going to end 5-3 to Trooper FC. Now I'm Big Fazza, this is Sunday League Settings. Thanks for having me.
see you, man. Always, brother. Yeah. Oh, boys, quality yeah. game, that is, man. Well done, lads. Run, yeah. the troops. Love that must. Oh, yes, man. Oh, yes, And everyone was shit. Let's be honest. We all know we were shit. So now, how do we recover? That's all it is, boys. We just recover. For me, that is the best this league's got to offer. That's the best team in the league. And we haven't really turned up. And it's still a close game in the end. We were miles off in the first half. Then we conceded just what, three, four goals in like five goals. So a crazy 10 minutes and then boom, the game's done. We, we can't afford the pieces when we win. I think we just as a team we need to be better or all over the park. Hey, hey, super 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 As we go around the grounds. <laughs> yes, Dave. Come on. Seamus Coleman here, just a quick video message to wish the VIP boys all the very best for the new season. I hope that it goes really well for you and that you enjoy it. All the very best. As we have a look at the results from the Premier Division and the Championship, first week of the season, nothing to really look at, so to play for. Now respect people, myself Big Fazza on behalf of Sunday League settings, like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Bless up.